Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the very much random assortment of cards that I picked up for, well, for Magic over the month of March and for March 2018. And March wasn't really that exciting of a month when it came to picking up stuff. There were some reprints with Modern Masters 25 or whatever they called it. Uh, I think it, the abbreviation was like A25. Anyway, let's take a look at what all I picked up. And the first thing I picked up is I picked up a couple of the Foil Ash Barons. These were a Commander card. And let me move over here a little bit. And then I'll make the card pop up right, right, right there. Right there. Hopefully I'll make the card pop up right there. We'll test my powers of video editing. So anyway, Ash Barons, it's a, it originally popped up in a commander box, and it also saw play in Pauper, and they released a foil version of it. And these ran in the 6 to $8 range, and they're not too bad. I picked up a couple of those. I am not a fan of any silver border cards by any stretch of the imagination but I recently played at a EDH evening and they gave everyone who played a promo so I ended up with an Earl of Squirrel and so it was technically a card I picked up and it was nice of them to give out the card I picked up a couple of Journey to Eternities and these are the flip cards that flip over to Adzel, Adzel, Cave of Eternity, the one that brings back creatures from your graveyard to the battlefield. I was figuring these were relatively inexpensive and shiny and promos, so I kind of couldn't resist. I picked up a super painfully overpriced Field of Ruin foil. I don't know when certain uncommons became like 16 to 20 dollar cards, but this does see play, and I also kind of wanted one or more for EDH. Uh, I hope they'll come down a little bit, but I kind of... I feel like it's going to be like a, a young Pyromancer foils, and they're just going to kind of stay up. I picked up an Uktavar, Ukt, Uktavara Hellkite. I don't know, a foil. And this one... Uh, it's it's such a good dragon and I don't know why but the foils kind of seem a little cheap to me the foils are under ten dollars and what I had done is I just added a couple of these to my card sphere want list and so one of them popped off and uh, they're well I like it a lot for a dragon deck if you're playing like an EDH dragons deck but I mean it just it feels like that's a cheap foil I picked up a foil Wayfarer's Bobble. Again, this was another one from Card Sphere. And this is one of those cards that this particular version is by far the more expensive one. I think foils of this run two or three dollars. The um, I want to say Modern Masters, Iconic Masters, uh, whichever one where they reprinted this, the foils of that. I ordered some cards, I don't know, a while back from Channel Fireball, and I was rounding out my order, and I saw that foils of the new printing were like a quarter each, so I just ordered like 20 of them. I figured, you know, worst case scenario, I can give them to somebody. Uh, I decided to pick up some Unclaimed Territories, and this is, I've been thinking about building maybe like a Humans deck for Modern, giving that a shot, and so I need to start picking up Unclaimed Territories. I picked up a couple of Path of Metals, and again, this one flips into the Metz, uh, Metzali, I'm probably mispronouncing that, Tower of Triumph, and it deals damage to each opponent, and uh, choose a creature at random that attacks this turn, destroy that creature, so, uh, I don't know, they were, they were super cheap. I picked up some Ishkana, Ishkana, I S H K A N A H, Ishkana. I am probably mispronouncing so many of these names. 
these were surprisingly inexpensive for foils and I, I've had the itch to build uh, an EDH deck with her and at the very least I feel like she's kind of worth it for EDH I picked up Tishana Voice of Thunder and again she's basically a multicolored regal force that does creatures instead of green creatures so you know I thought she'd be a good card to have at some point I'm gonna use her in a blue and green deck so or a deck with blue and green anyway uh, Eerie Interlude is another card that popped off from Card Sphere and this is really it's a better ghost way so if you like the ghost way effect you might as well also use Eerie Interlude or if you like Eerie Interlude you might as well also use Ghost Way <laughs> okay uh, whenever you swarm intelligence whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell you may copy that spell you may choose new targets for the copy oh uh, this is dumb bulk rare caliber EDH foily goodness I couldn't help myself uh, the Ur Dragon, their dragon was like two dollars or something. You know, sometimes just things are unavoidable. Uh, I had this on my card sphere want list from way back, and they're like a buck or so. Oh, there's something else in the back too. They were like a little bit over a buck, and this made my fourth one. And I don't know, for some reason, I just get the feeling that this is one of those cards that for a dollar. I don't mind setting it in a box and at some point it might have might have its day. Now the other card that popped off of Card Sphere was a foil deserted temple. And this card actually saw a spike recently shortly after I I got it from Card Sphere. And again, it's just a pretty solid utility land especially for EDA. I mean for EDH it's really where it would see its use. And, you know, it lets you double the effect of your Cradle, double the effect of your Cabal Coffers. Um, even, like, Manamo, and get an extra untap of a Legendary something else if you wanted to. So, you have a lot of options there. And, let's see. I don't remember why I got this one. Uh, that is a mystery. I have no idea. Pieces of the puzzle. Again, I started thinking about Modern some, and I was like, maybe I want to try Modern Storm. And so, uh, I decided, I added these to my card sphere list, and the rest should be in the April batch. Another eerie interlude. I decided I wanted to take a look at some of the the unstable lands to see if I like them. My default basic land of choice is I use the unglued lands and I never really cared for the unhinged basics so I decided to take a look at these and somebody sent me a couple from Card Sphere and I'm still kinda I don't think I like these much. I need to take a good serious look at the foils to see if the foils look considerably better. Uh, if not, I'm probably just going to stick with the unglued ones. If y'all think that these are look super hot in foil, let me know in the comments. Um, more, in, more in claim territory. Another Ash Barons. Another Forest from before. Uh, indomitable Creativity. Uh, sometimes choices are made. And... Looks... Lysia? Lysit? Lysia? The Sanguine Tribune? Eh, uh, I don't know. I added a couple of the the generals from this batch of the commander boxes that were super cheap, and she was one from Card Sphere. So, those were the pickups from March 2018. I It wasn't the most exciting stack of Magic cards, but based upon how April 2018 is going, I think that's going to be an exciting stack of cards, especially with Dominaria coming out. That's going to make April and May pretty exciting. Anyway, 
If you have any suggestions for cards I should look for, or if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I hope you all have an excellent day.